we're back. This is Open Mic Thursdays at Sam's Spot in San Antonio, Texas. I'm Jade Esteban Estrada, and we were just charmed by the very soothing sounds of Lara Marie. Give it up for her one more time. Very, very nice. I feel like a nice hot bath. I feel like after a long day. Very, very soothing. Forgot that I was here. It's our first anniversary show, and, and, and I like that. Um, you have a new... Now, first of all, there's a lot of people here who, who may not have heard uh, your music before, and I'm really glad that they got an opportunity to hear you, because obviously you're so fantastic. Uh, uh, LauraMarieMusic.com is where they can find you, is that correct? Yes, yes, or MySpace slash LauraMarie, or Facebook, or any of those. Twitter, also, as well. Don't even get me started on Twitter. Like, it took me forever to get on Facebook. How many Facebookers are out there? Now, did it take you a long time to be convinced to go to Facebook? Because I was like, I'm not going to do it. I'm just not going to do it. And now I'm like that with Twitter. And like, I, I'm not going to do it. We're going to get you. We're going to get you. I believe you. I'm going to actually log, log on tonight. Um, so you have a new blog, I understand. Tell me about that. Laura Marie blogs, and I finally got convinced to do an outside um, kind of blog. I guess some people on MySpace were really interested in some of the weird take I have on certain things in life and in music and some of the things I do, so um, they kind of pushed me to go ahead and open up a blog um, through WordPress, and so it's LauraMarieBlogs.com. Awesome. Now, blogs, blogs are... Blogs are interesting things because you get like uh, you can you, they're, they're diaries basically that the whole world can read. Uh, do you take that into consideration when you do that? Um, I try to be as, as truthful as possible. Um, I I think I've done all my crazy stuff when I was a little bit younger, and I did some crazy stuff. So that now when I when I write and blog about stuff, I have that perspective to come from. I'm, I'm really pretty liberal and really open to a lot of different ideas and and stuff like that. So there's really nothing I haven't heard, about, but. It's, it's a clean blog. You know, it's not blue. <laughs> As we say in the comedy world. Um, just in case you don't know what that means, blue means nasty, dirty words. <laughs> that I never say, of course. Now, you have a new CD uh, recording in the works, is that correct? I, I have my CD drawn that I'm still promoting, but I'll be recording um, coming in the next month or so here in San Antonio, my, my new CD. Hasn't been named yet, but we're working on it. I understand all that working titles and all that stuff. Now, um, I wanted to ask you this. We were talking about this a little bit before. You perform so much live. I've seen you so much. I know you're very active. You're at the candlelight, you know, two times a month, and you've got this great following. When you record live so often, and then you go into the studio, like I know you've been doing, what is the difference creatively for you? I mean, is it a completely different experience to sing the same song in front of people and then to go in and, and have that small little audience of a microphone? Uh, it, it's very different, but... Um I guess when I perform live, you kind of you can feed off the energy, like in comedy, you can feed off the energy of the people in the room, which is which is wonderful. When you are recording, at least for me, um, I have this great experience of being able to go back to when I wrote the song and what that what it was like, what what the meaning of the song was. A lot of my songs, I'm talking to somebody, so I get to put myself in that space between me and that person and be able to to sing, you know, that way, which is it's it's, it's a little bit more personal that way. But you can be really, really creative with it, bring all the other uh, arrangement, the, spread out the arrangement, get more musicians in, and that's that's a lot of fun too. Right. I can totally imagine. Now, you, you, I was asking if you had like a crazy story that you could share with everybody, but you, you, you brought up the fact that you get, um, you get called Lisa Marie all the, time. all the time when you really are Laura Marie. Yeah. Like, how do you nicely tell people, don't call me that? <laughs> I mean, there's no way to say it nicely. <laughs> no, it's it happened on radio, uh, television. Uh, you know, every time, every other time I do an interview, not you know, put present company excluded. Um, and Lisa Marie, I was in Dallas doing. I think something happened in Dallas on a, on a television show there. Where it was Lisa Marie, and you know, I mean, there's no way to avoid it. I don't think it just kind of goes together, and yeah. As if I totally, I totally understand because as long as Eric Estrada is in the world, I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm just, it's just, it's not gonna work out for me. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen. This is Laura Marie. She's fantastic. We love her. LauraMarieMusic.com. Go visit her. We love her. This is Open Mic Thursdays, our first anniversary show. We'll be back in just a couple of seconds. And as far as you're concerned, scroll and click onto the next video.